to remove the brisket plate along the cartilage at the base of the rib bones. So finding that white stopping point between the ribs and the brisket and then taking your knife and splitting in between that bone and cartilage. Rolling the brisket off. Cutting the neck and flat meat away. If you need to, employ the use of a saw or a bandsaw to cut through this backbone. The meat surrounding the neck can be trimmed for sausage meat, and then the neck can be used for braising. So the easiest way is follow the eye of that loin, roll the loin off and away from the bones. There is a thick tendon that runs down the middle that needs to be removed. Butterfly that opens slightly to remove. This cut can then be trussed or cut into medallions for roasting or searing. Very simply with a bandsaw, cut down along the base of the chine bone, separating the rack. If you do not have a bandsaw, a handsaw will do. To finish the spare ribs, you take the entire rib plate, you divide it in half evenly down the middle along the length of the rib. Then you take each individual smaller rib plate with a saw and you divide them into two even portions. Taking your knife to make sure Cut in between each bone for a guide to follow, doubling back again. Then run each side through a bandsaw, separating them into four individual plates, and those are the spare rib cuts.